As part of efforts to check the trend of examination malpractice in the conduct of the Unified Tertiary Matriculation Examination, UTME, the federal government in 2020 directed the Joint Admission and Matriculation Board, JAM, to commence transfer of candidates' biometrics to their institutions of choice. The directive, however, seems to be paying off as the board paraded two suspects, Buhari Abubakar and one Ajero, for offense of personation at its headquarters in Buari, Abuja. Addressing a news conference, JAM Registrar Professor Ishak Oloyede highlighted the intrigues that led to the arrest of the suspects. He now procured somebody who wrote the exam. But because Bayero University Kano follows the directive of the minister, when the candidate went there to register, he wanted another picture. He said, no. He jumped and set off your picture. So my ID card, they gave him an ID card that carried the picture of the person who wrote our exam. So, and because we have worked in tandem with what the minister wanted us to do, they made attempts. You know, as they are making an attempt to change the picture, we have what is, we are rather looking at them. So we continue to manage, uh, to monitor them. And this man, when his uh, ID card, university ID card, showed the picture of the, and he felt uncomfortable, he now approached, did everything through them, he couldn't get it done. Then he was told to go and swear to an affidavit that he was the one who wrote the exam. And Jam made mistake. Jam made mistake to have make another person's picture that he doesn't know the person. It was Jam who made mistake of the picture. So he went and swear to this affidavit, saying that he's not the owner of the picture. He doesn't know how Jam got it. Both Abubakar and Ajero confessed to the crime with a letter indicating that he was paid the sum of 20,000 Naira to write the examination on behalf of the first suspect. The time Buhari come to say he will not write the exam, I say, okay, let me help you because somebody sent you to me. I will help you to write the exam. But when the photos appear and go to jam, they are not uh, corrected. The 2020, I say, Kai, I will not do this right again because I suffer. I know Buhari every day come, every day come, or oh, call me. How can we do? I say, well, I, I don't know how can we do because no any green card for this correction. He paid, we complete at 25, but he paid the 20,500, the balance of 45. He has not paid for this. After. They told me that to do so. They say I should go to court academy mm, to Millard and uh, make an epidemic, then to direct me to the jam office. So if I show them my evidence, maybe they will change it. Not happy with the development, especially as over 400 candidates currently seeking admission into the nation's tertiary institutions were involved in admission fraud. Oloyede said the biometric policy has come to stay. No change of picture. No change of biometric, the biometric that the picture that and the name that the candidates will use were the one were the one used when they were taking the examination. To serve as deterrents, the center where the suspect registered for the examination had since been blacklisted by JAM. CNN News.